Hybrid Fox Kid, and welcome back to Don't Escape 4 Days to Survive. In the previous episode, we've hunkered down our base a little bit, but I don't think I'm fully okay with how it's looking so far. I don't think I've got everything I need for it, which makes me kind of nervous because I don't really think I can find anything else. So, yeah, it's not looking too good. We do have 2 hours and 45 minutes left. Uh, I just want to do a couple more things. So the one thing I'm not sure about, there's a couple of things I need to do still. So we've got the lighter, but we can't light the fireplace. The fireplace has some wooden planks inside, which is no surprise because I put them there myself. Also, I think the chimney is clogged. I don't feel any air draft, which is kind of worrying considering that, yeah, there's no kindling in the fireplace. There's no way I can start a fire without something to start can easily be set on fire. Now let's take like every single paper. Let's take the bug maybe? Wait, can I put him in the fireplace? Oh yes! I put some stacks of document into the fireplace. That means I can light it now? Yes! Oh no, um, that, yeah I think the chimney might be clogged. Yeah, put it out for now. I don't want to choke to death with all that smoke. Okay, so we need to deal with the chimney. How do I go about doing that? <laughs> that's a good question, I don't know. Is that a ladder? Oh, wait, that's a hatch. Oh, yes! Ho -ho -ho. Oh, God. Ooh, the moon looks pretty. Ooh, doo -doo -doo. Having a good time. Another part of the room. Let's go over there. Oh, good thing I checked. I, I was going to say, I'm like, I doubt that got, like, something to do with it. Okay, so, got the chimney. Like, how am I going to unclog it? That's the real question. It seems the chimney is clogged by something inside. I can't reach it. The wrench, maybe? Bad idea. Okay, uh, maybe like the crowbar or like the iron pole. Okay, uh, what about short pipe? Uh, can't do that. Um, crowbar? Not really. Shovel. Bad idea. But what? Uh, the gun! Can't see how that would work. No. Netting with a shovel? No. Okay. Uh, maybe in there. Okay, I've put the pest control truck sticky note into the kindling box. Because that's going to prolong it for so long. Can I put the bug in there? I can't see how that would work. Okay. So the bug don't work. Um, oh god, what am I going to... What am I supposed to do? Oh. Honestly, throwing Cody down there doesn't sound like a half bad idea. <laughs> I'm sorry, Cody. Uh, oh, maybe the money actually might be good for the kindling. Maybe this bag of charcoal might be good as well. Money in the kindling box. There's something inside. Let's see. The sticky. Oh. Three sacks of broken wood plank. Oh, okay. So I'm assuming that's full then. Uh, what do I do about this chimney? Okay, so I think I might have to go out for another round. And just see if I can find anything. Because how do I unstick the fireplace? I just need a long stick. Ah, uh, that's so concerning, because that's the one thing I need before I can actually, like, say this is good to, like, go through the night. Okay, so I think... Uh, very! I think I'm just gonna go around and look at each area. I think there's something to do with the roadblock, because the gas station has the fuel that you can keep getting. Obviously, these are two new areas. The roadblock had nothing. Is it supposed to have nothing? I don't know. Okay, let's say hi to the skeleton man. Hi, skeleton man! How we doing? Uh, I did pack some... Yeah, I took some important things, so that'll be handy. Um, is there nothing I can do to unclog a chimney? No, you can't throw them down. Granted, it'll probably cause an explosion, so probably not a good idea. Okay, let's keep going. Um, goodbye, skeleton man. Have a good day. Oh, tire track. What? Can I investigate that? These tracks weren't here yesterday. The road ahead is blocked. Maybe someone was trying to go around the crash site. That's possible, I guess. Let's follow the tracks and see where they take us. That's my life motto. Uh, okay, well. I, how did I not find that? Uh, an RV, time traveled five minutes. Okay. Sounds like, a, oh. Looks like their trip didn't end well. I wonder what happened. My guess is their car broke down. RVs are not the best suited for an off-road travel, you know. They set a camp and then the locust swarm got them. Oh no! Oh, there's a cave? There's a cave. Oh, okay. Uh, let's check the body. Hello, how we doing? Hi! 
He doesn't have anything interesting. Not much I can do for the poor guy. Are you sure you don't want to bury him? Because we have so much time on our hands. Kate, we buried Barry's wife to help him. So why are they not worth getting their own funeral? Don't be snarky, okay? Of course they're worth it. We just don't have the time. Hear that? Sorry guys, it's past our grave digging time for today. Whatever, Catherine. God, Catherine, you're annoying. <laughs> mm, mate, you're getting on my nerves, I swear. Oh, we got a hook? The hook gets attached to the RV with some big bolts. Good thing I got my wrench! Or maybe it's a screwdriver job. Please don't say it's a screwdriver job. Yes! I detached the hook. Ha ha! I brought the right thing for the job. Okay, so I've got a hook. Will that help for the chimney? I don't know. Yeah, Catherine, she's a bit of a bitch, isn't she? Uh, yeah. Uh, there's nothing to go on. Uh, I'll be back. Sure you will. Yeah, like... Y you can be... You can be a nice person. You don't have to be a bitch all the time. Uh, he's dead. No valuable belongings. Okay. Uh, can I go inside? Ooh, I can! Hello? What have we got? Got some water. A first aid kit. Some stuff in this first aid kit. Not bad, not bad. Uh, check in here. Loot all the doors. Make sure we got absolutely everything. Oh. A jacket! Yes, we can give jacket to Cody and Barry. Oh, I'm so happy. I was so worried I was going to have to let them free. And then we got a big blanket as well. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, that's exactly what I needed. Oh, yes. Okay, I'm happy. I, my boys can survive. Okay, beautiful. So we've got through the RV. There's nothing else. Driver's seat. Before I try to do anything else with it, I should inspect the car first. Oh, okay. Do you want to inspect the RV's engine? This will take some time. Do you want to do this? The action will take five minutes. Kate, Barry will help for one minute. Cody's no help. Uh, because of that, this action will only take three minutes. Uh, yeah, three minutes. We should be fine. Engine seems fine, but the suspension is busted. The RV is not going anywhere, and I don't think there's anything I can do to fix it. Also, the internal battery for appliances seem to be working, but I don't know how much juice it has left. The battery is charged when the engine is running. Okay, so I don't think I need it. I don't think I do. Uh, wait, can I? Oh, okay. There we go, something's wrong. It won't start, but the engine is fine. Fuel, perhaps. Okay, does that mean I can drive around the RV? Maybe my, that might be like a later on thing. It's at least seven feet deep. I don't really want to jump down there. But, but, it's, how do I get down there? I have a hook. Do I have any rope at home? I have netting at home. Uh, Cody, off you go! <laughs> uh, yeah, is there any... About this place? What do you think about this place? I wonder where those people were going. Like, there's nothing here. And any ideas why they were here? Maybe they wanted to hide a treasure. Hey, do you think there's a treasure hidden here or something? I doubt that. Maybe let's dig. Let's not. Oh, Psst, David. Distract her. I'm gonna dig. I hear you, kid. Uh-oh. A bot! Run away! I love Cody. He's so cute. Uh, later. Uh, Catherine, help! Yeah. I may have called you a bitch earlier, but I need help. So what do you think of this play? Like I said, they must have gone off-road to get past the roadblock. And their suspension didn't survive that. Consequently, neither did they. Okay. Wait. Um, I'll be back. I'm sure you will. Uh, they just seem fine, but suspension is busted. They're not going anywhere. I don't think there's anything we can do to fix it. Okay. Uh, yes, shut up! Um... Oh, hmm... Just when I thought I had something going for me, I don't. But what about... What does Barry have to say? Hey, Barry, how we doing? Yes? What's up? Uh, about this place. What do you think of this place? This place smells of death. Like most of the world, actually. Making it pretty ordinary place, I guess. Hope some stuff here will be useful to use. Well, surely it won't be useful to the previous owners. Looking at all the deaths, I can't help myself but wonder. How did we survive up to this point? Maybe it was destiny. Destiny. Ha! Or blind chance. I would say blind chance. And nothing more. Not everything is pointless, Barry. Yeah? Well, my wife's death was pointless. I'm sorry. Uh, Barry, calm down. Maybe if I go and grab the fuel, I can extend the thing that the hook con was connected to? But it said the suspension was broken, so what's the point? Yeah, you know what, let's go check it out quickly. Uh, let... Uh, 20 minutes, okay. Let's get back to the car. Get in the car! 
That means we have to go and grab some more gas again. Can I get like two jerry cans? That would be very much handy. Okay, let's quickly hand out the coat. Uh, Barry, you have a coat? Hey, take this coat. Thanks. But I think you should give one to Cody first. Huh, did someone call me? But what about you, Barry? I'll be fine. We can always find more coats. Oh, okay. Cody, you have a coat. <laughs> take this coat. It's too big for me. I know, but you'll have to wear it later when it gets really cold. Oh, okay. Ha, huh, you're good with kids, David. I don't know, am I? Hey, I'm not a kid. Yes, you are. <laughs> you are a child. Uh, there we go. Take this coat. Huh? Okay. It's getting rather chilly already. Yeah, and it's only going to get worse. Thanks. You're welcome. Okay, so what do we have here? I gave Cody a warm coat. He's small, so he might need it more than anyone else. I gave Barry a warm coat. Okay, so we've got the coat situation dealt with. Uh, we have more water as well, which isn't half bad. What was in the first aid kit? Bottle of water. Wait, did we not get that first aid kit? Wait, did we not pick that up? Okay. Okay, so let's quickly drop off that. I'll fix that up in just a jiffy. What did I come out here to get? Oh, we're going to bring the netting with us. The jerry can as well. Um, I'm going to put back the bottle of water. I don't think we need that. Um, I'll take the hook in case we need it. I don't think there's anything else. Nah, we should be fine with that. Hopefully. Maybe I might get the hammer. Uh, where's the hammer at? Uh, there we go. And maybe the shovel in case Cody wants to go digging. <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's see if we can find anything back at the, the site. I really want to go check out that cave. Am I missing something? Friends, I said that and I was missing a whole area, so possibly I could be. Okay, so it's five minutes to get there. What is that? Cody, can you move out of the way? Okay, so let's fill up this. Fuel gas on the fuel inlet. Okay, so that's dealt with. Let's actually activate the car. There we go, anything? I started the RV's engine. Okay, so what good does that do? Um, our first aid kit. Did I? There was a bandage in the first aid kit. There's something more here. Oh. There's a thermal blanket in the first aid kit. Oh, there's nothing else in here. Previous owners must have used it all. Oh, can't believe I nearly missed that. <laughs> okay, there's definitely nothing else in here. What does the car being on do? So charging when the engine is running. Okay, so it means the battery is charging, which means I might need it for later on. What do I need a battery for? That's a good question. I don't really want to jump in there, but how do we get in there? Uh, rock formation. Hello? There's a rock formation full of cracks and holes. It looks really sturdy and stable. Oh, can I put a hook in there? That wouldn't, but why not? What if, can I, oh, that wouldn't work. No? Bad idea. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh no. I don't really want to dig for treasure, David. I, uh, great. It looks like I have two kids on my team. You'll be fine. Ah, oh, that's the achievement treasure hunter. I love that. I remember there's something at the the restaurant that I needed to get and I think it was at the flagpole it said it needed something with a round profile and I said I was gonna go check it out but I didn't actually remember to go and actually check out the the profile uh, the thing with the round profile so let's have a nosy see if we can find the thing we need in here and I think maybe the, the short pipe the pipes are circular Got a short pipe, and then we've got a wrench to get the fuel and stuff like that. Okay, so I think I may have what we need. Ho ho! Maybe! I have no idea. Hopefully the pipe works, because if it doesn't, I'm in big trouble. <laughs> oh no! Okay, let's quickly get back in the car. And let's head back over to the gas station. Okay, so I'm kind of worried that I'm going to be using a lot of time. I really need to crack down on my time because I don't think I'm going to get any of the blankets set up considering how much time I have left because I think I've got like two hours left two hours and eight minutes Ugh. I'm going to be really cutting it short but we'll have to wait and see okay so we've got the fuel that's nice and easy, beautiful so we've got that one and then we can head back to the restaurant back in the car everybody and hopefully that means we can get that thing out back yeah 
Broke plan to release the mechanism. Can we use this? Please say we can use this. Oh yes, this pipe fits perfectly into the opening. Oh, legend. Uh, can I crank it? Oh, yes. And I've got myself a rope. Restaurant flag. Yes. And we've got a rope. Uh, can I get this back as well? Uh, no, I can't take it back. Clamp is already released. It seems the pipe is stuck in here for good. Ah, oh, we can't get the pipe. But we have the rope. That's amazing. Okay. Tie the rope to the hook. Beautiful. Okay, so that means I've got the thing I can repel down into that cave now. Which... Ugh, God, I can't believe it took this long. Um, actually, I should have... You know what? My fuel will be fine. I probably need to go and get fuel for something else as well. So yeah, let's go there. Yeah, let's go to the RV. Check out the cave and then hopefully once that's all done, I can go home and get everything sorted. Okay, so can I wedge that in there? Beautiful! Uh, I've inserted the hook into the crack. It sits there firmly. It should be safe to use. Okay, let's have it. Oh god, no! Don't remove the hook, I need it! Uh, put him back. Boop. Okay, into the crack sits firmly. It should be safe to use. Yep, thank you. Uh, there we go. Down into the cave. Brr, it's really cold down here. Yeah, it is indeed. Good thing I got my friends. Uh, there, nothing? Okay, yeah? What the hell is this place? What do you think of this place? David, if you were looking for a place that couldn't compare to a hole in the ground, then you found it. This is literally a hole in the ground. There's nothing here. Just severe cold. Okay. I'm sure you will. Wait, is there n literally nothing here? I wasted all my time. Uh, you, you know what? Up we go. Can we leave Kate in the hole quick? Yes! Ah, oh, I'm sorry, Kate. I do love you, but sometimes you're a little bit hard to handle. Okay, so I think we may be done. I think we're done with preparation, so I think I'm going to go back, hunker down my house one last time, and then hope for the best, honestly. Okay, so first thing first, let's undetach that and replace that with a thermal blanket. Uh, could take nine minutes. Okay, that'll be fine. I'll take that, pick up the nails, and then we can put the cozy thermal blanket on. It's hanging there, still need something to attach it to. Uh, we got the nails, don't you worry about a thing. Uh, do you want to use this? 23 minutes, yes. Okay, so what does it say about this now? I've installed a thermal insulation fabric on some of the windows. Beautiful, okay, so we've got that. We need to take out the roof. And I also want to take this down. And put... I didn't get the other blanket. Okay, so we chuck the blanket on there. I can't really fit it to the wall. I know it's a very nice view. Put the bloody blanket on it. Just hanging there. I still need to do something about no one attached to the wall. Yes, yes. We'll have to deal with that later. <laughs> we got bigger fish to fry and it's the thing that's stuck in the bloody chimney. Okay, let's get this chimney dealt with. Hello, how we do- Oh god, the moon looks very pretty, doesn't it? Okay, let's do this. How we doing? Please say this will deal with it. It should. Oh, yeah, look at this go. We're fishing. Oh, oh, a de oh, lovely. We're just gonna pick up the dead bird, okay. Um, the chimney is now unclogged, okay, beautiful. So we can re-clog our chimney, and I'm can I shut that? Beautiful, thank you game, appreciate it. Uh, I can't shut that though, which is a problem. Uh, okay, so everything's done. Can I put the dead bird in the kindling? Yeah, that's not a good idea, is it? Uh, let's quickly light the fire. We got the fire. Uh, there we go. Uh, I don't know why I have a dead bird in my inventory. Okay, uh, let's light that. Beautiful. Hey, there we go, we're all toasty. And then let's quickly grab the key and lock the back door, because I think that should be everything. We should be fine now. Ah, oh, no, 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 don't go out there. No, don't shut the door! Get back inside, you goof. There we go, now shut the door. Beautiful. And lock the door. Beautiful. And so, we should be good. It looks very toasty in here. Um, yeah, it doesn't say anything. Hopefully, hopefully it's fine. You know what? If it's not fine, we can always try again. So, I think I'm going to end the day. And see how it goes. So, you think you're ready. Pick an item from your inventory that you would like to equip during the night. 
Cancel, you don't want to finish the day. Yet. Oh, I forgot to put the, um, yeah, cancel for a sec. I forgot to put the gas. Oh, wait, the gas is in, in my inventory. Can I throw this on the fire? Can't do that. What if I just, like, leave him here? Can I just, like, pop him down here? I don't know. I'll keep him on me for now. Uh, yeah, you know what? Um, I'm gonna keep the wrench on me in case I need to fight something. I can fight off the cold demons or something. Oh, and I need my jacket as well. Okay, yeah, let's end the day now. We're fine. Let's equip the jacket. Let's see how we go. It was cold already during the day, but when the sun disappeared behind the horizon, the temperatures dropped even lower. It got so cold that everything in the area that was alive and hadn't found shelter was frozen almost instantly. You found shelter in a house, hoping it would save you from the wave of cold death. The front door was closed. This weakened the wave of the cold by 2% of the initial freezing power. Oh no. The back door was closed, and this weakened the wave of cold by 2% of the initial freezing power. The window on the ground floor was covered with a silver thermal blanket. That thermal blanket was nailed to the window frame. As a result, the window blocked 4% of the initial cold. This is not enough. The window on the upper floor was covered with a thick blanket. The blanket was nailed to the frame. As a result, the window blocked 4% of the initial cold wave. The window on the bathroom was covered with a thick blanket. The blanket was just hanging there, was swept away by the wind. As a result, the window blocked 3% of the initial cold wave. You didn't put anything on the roof of the ceiling. With a large hole in the- I knew that would be a problem, but I didn't know what to put there. Um, the hatch was an important airflow route. It stopped 0% of the initial cold wave. The fire was burning in the fireplace. It was generating a lot of heat, countering 30% of the initial cold wave. During the night, a sudden strong gust of wind almost put the fire out. You had some spare kindling to keep relighting the fire or make the flame bigger. As a result, you lost some of the heat, 3% of the initial cold wave, to be precise. Ugh. The basket of the fireplace was full of fuel to burn. It kept the fire going until dawn. You plugged in the electric heater into the main room. The hot air it blew raised the temperature around it deducting 22% of the initial cold wave. The portable gas heater was placed in one of the rooms. The warmth from the gas heater dispersed 24% of the initial freezing air. Oh, come on. You gave Kay a warm coat. With its help, she managed to overcome the cold weather unharmed. You gave Barry a warm coat. Perhaps it saved his life, providing some extra warmth that everyone needed. You gave Cody a coat. Nice and warm. Maybe it saved his life, shielding him from the cold wind. You wore an old coat that you found in the wasteland. It was thick and warm. Wearing the coat shielded you from 10% of the initial cold wave. Oh, come on, click the view summary. Did I die? Did that have to go to zero? Cold was really cold, but it wasn't deadly. You were well prepared. Yes, I survived. Woohoo! <laughs> you survived to see another day. I was so scared it was like the other game that if... Oh, okay. Next premonition. Hello? Is it going to be... Oh, a door. Hello? Anyone in the door? It's locked. What about the window? The window didn't help last time. Uh, oh, oh. What? Acid rain? I got electrocuted? What? Okay, so you had another dream. Yeah, not a very pleasant one. There was a storm, a thunderstorm. The rain was burning like it was acid. And the lightning was striking all around. I see. I have to prepare for it then. What is it, Cody? You seem excited. I have something important to tell you. It's like super duper important. We have to prepare for tonight, even more than yesterday. Yes, Cody, I know. But you don't know why yet. I don't? I thought... Shush. I had a dream there was like a dozen zombies coming towards the house. They wanted my brain. We had to protect it. I don't want to be eaten. They had these ugly faces, and they were slowly walking with their arms in front of them. They were speaking to me all like, Brain. Cody, zombies are not real. You had a bad dream, that's all. David, you're one to talk. What? No way. Your dreams are better than mine. Yeah, I'm not saying they're better. So you believe me that there are zombies coming after me. No one's chasing you, Cody. I hope the zombies think you're tasty. David, there's something I have to tell you. I also had a dream. Oh, no. You saw what I saw? No, I saw a city. I know where to find the spaceship, David. Or at least I know how to look for it. What? Where? Side reel. The corporation that built those ships had a number of outposts and offices across, well, everywhere actually. In my dreams, I saw one of them in the deserted city in the southwest. 
It was just an office, but if we get there, we might find the location of the spaceship outpost. So you don't know for certain. David, have I doubted one of your dreams for a second? I need you to trust me on this. We've got to get there as soon as possible, before we spend any time preparing for what's coming tonight. Okay, Barry, do you have any input on this? Hey, yes. <laughs> okay. Barry's having a good time. Um, okay. That's all for now. So, we have a zombie apocalypse. <laughs> and we also have a thunderstorm and rainstorm. Okay. Oh, gee golly. Okay, so... What do we want to do? That's the real question. One thing I want to do... Oh, my gas is full. Okay. I'll keep him there. Um, I think maybe the first thing I want to do out of everything is maybe go and check on the restaurant and see what was behind those bugs. Because they said the bugs would have died through the cold snap. So that might be the first way to go and then maybe a couple more areas might be unlocked as we go. Uh, let's... Open this. I remember I never actually opened the front door, so I don't know if there's anything out here that needed to be checked. Uh, go around the base. Oh, also, I have a a note. I closed the roof hatch to the attic. Okay. Uh, we have to secure our hideout from the oncoming storm. But what are the zombies? To be fair, I do trust... I do trust Cody. He may be a kid, but... His intuition may sound correct. Oh, God. Okay, you know what? Let's go back to the car and let's check out the restaurant. Have a nosy what's out there. Oh, God. We gotta... Ah! Wrong button! I want to unlock the door. Boop. There we go. Okay, we'll unlock this. And we'll open him up. And we'll go have a nosy at the restaurant. Hopefully those bugs are dead. Oh! Let's build a snowman. Oh, a little snowman! Hello! How we doing? I got an achievement. I don't even know what I did. Okay, so the generator is out again. Ooh, hello. City, side of Plexus office. Time to ride 13 minutes. Wait, do I have my fuel on me? Okay, pick you up and you stay with me. I might as well just chuck that in the car. And have that in the car, like, all the time. Okay. Uh, check the back. Run over there. Go on, David. Good going. Uh, yeah, pop him in there. And then we'll go to the restaurant. Uh, to the restaurant, off we go! Okay, let's see what those bugs were guarding. Oh god. Bloodstain. Oh yes, hello. Um closed door. Oh a toilet! Okay, so we've got a bottle of oil. We've got rat poison. Anything else? Anything else? A magazine as well, handy dandy. Oh! Weekly conspiracy. This issue's special report, Sidro Plexus. Coma clinic? Is this a real legit clinic for people in a prolonged comatose state? Or perhaps it's something much more sinister than that? We at Weekly Conspiracy believe there is something more to it than meets the public eye. So let's take a look at the mega corporation's newest investment. Read more inside this issue. Okay. Sidereal Plexus doesn't have to be introduced to anyone. Electronic computers, automotives, industry. A space exploration, you name it. Their newly opened facility doesn't look like another cash grab by the cooperation. A clinic for people in comas. If your loved one had the misfortune of falling into a coma, you might want some professional to care for them. Usually this kind of deal is super expensive. Sidereal Plexus Sleeper Clinic, however, is dirt cheap. Why would a corporation focus solely on its own profits do something like this? People point out that this is just a PR stunt, an attempt to improve its image. While this is entirely plorable, we don't believe this is to be the truth. As we all know, the truth is always hidden much deeper. Some families that decide to use a clinic and who wish to remain anonymous to weekly conspiracy readers report seeing their loved ones in public, walking around as if nothing had happened, approaching they didn't even recognise their family members, displaying a total different alien behaviour. While the wake-up rate of people in comas is low in general, the reports of coma patients behaving like completely different people is unheard of. Could it mean Sidereal is using them for a scientific experimentation? Brainwashing is one of the options, but we at Weekly Conspiracy have another possible and chilling solution. Sidereal Plexus is working on some sort of mind transfer technology. They are using people in comas as vessels for other consciousnesses. That's a very long word. <laughs> Not interested in the well-being of the owner of the original body. They are just using them as sleeves of sorts. While this is totally speculative and we lack the necessary proof, we have been contacted 
by a supposed former clinic worker who confirms our theory. Unfortunately, all contact with this person has since been lost or they've been murdered. We don't know who they were or whether or not they were being truthful. We will continue this topic in further issues of Weekly Conspiracy, so stay tuned and remember, they want you to think we are the crazy ones. Okay, fair enough, we got some interesting information. Okay, um... Barry, can you play with me? I'm bored. Oh, But Cody, we went treasure hunting! What do you want to do? What are they gonna do? Uh, it's a simple game where the one person describes what they see and the other person has to guess. Oh, I spy. Um, I can go first. Oh god. <laughs> go ahead. I'm very in invested. I spy m with my little eyes something scary. Catherine. Kate. How did he guess that so fast? Ah, <laughs> oh, Catherine, you're not giving yourself a good rap. Oh, I love that. Okay. I think we might actually head over to the this place, uh, the big mega city. Over here. But I think I might actually leave this episode here. In the next episode, we're going to go check out the city and hopefully find the space station, which is going to be exciting. Oh, well, the location of it at least. But yeah, we'll have to wait and see in the next episode because I'm going to leave this episode here. If you guys liked the video, give the video a thumbs up and maybe subscribe if you want to stick around. Oh, good. I'll see you guys next time. See ya.